I am taking my mom on a little trip away to Melbourne for three nights and it is going to be all about high teas, the theatre and shopping. It's going to be very, very glorious and I can't wait. Uh, but you know what that means? I need to pack a makeup bag. I need to pack my makeup and uh, it's only three nights so I don't need a lot. But also, I learned a lot when I went to America at the start of the year around what or like my makeup style and preferences when I travel. So I want to take my knowledge from that trip into packing this trip because I always overpack my makeup, always, no matter what. Anyway, uh, what I'm trying to say is I'm going to take you with me to pick out some products and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to pack it and like what I'm taking and why. So hopefully that sounds interesting to you guys. If it does, let's go ahead and do the YouTube things. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell and let's get into it. So I'm just going to take you through my makeup drawers. I'm going to do a speed through of like me picking the products out and then we'll do like a desk view of like the products, the whys and the packing. So let's do it. So this is all the makeup that I've kind of picked out and this is way too much but I wanted to kind of cull it down with you guys. Clearly I have a problem with eyeshadow. Look at all the freaking eyeshadows I've picked out honestly. Now my hope and I don't think it's I, I don't think it's gonna happen but my hope was to be able to fit it in this bag. It says SM because um I guess it's like Shane and Martina, but it wasn't supposed to say that. It was supposed to be Shane's initials and they screwed up. So anyway, I got this for free. So it's mine now and Shane got the correct one for his initials. You don't care. But I was hoping to fit all my makeup in here. So we'll see how we go. But the problem, anyway, we'll, we'll cross the makeup bag when we get to it. Now let's put the eyeshadows aside for now. I'm not going to take all of this eyeshadow. Don't worry. It's three nights. I'm aware. Um, let's put anything to do with eyeshadow this time. So here's the thing. I just added some more foundation too. Primer, I think I'm pretty set on taking this one because it's really, really been working for me lately. I really, really have been enjoying it, but I'm also like, this is kind of bulky. So I don't know what else I would take though. For now, I'm going to stick with this as my primer and if it's too bulky, then the only other one I can think of is maybe like the Huda Blur Gem. So let's stick with this for now. Color corrector is a definite. This is a really, really small, easy one for me. So let's keep that definitely. And I'm going to take my KVD Good Apple Concealers because I've actually really been enjoying them recently. And my Huda Beauty one is leaking for some reason. So that's out of the question and I've really been enjoying these. So I'm going to take them. The Rare Beauty Eye Primer, also an absolute given. This is my favorite eye primer. It's also small, so happy days. My Lancome Lashy Doll. I was toying with the two travel size ones that I have, but I'm pretty sure they only have like one or two uses left in them and I don't want to get down there and like 
they run out. So I'm just going to take this one because this is brand new. My brows. Um, whoop. Precisely my brow, gimme brow and my clear brow gel. This is what I always use. These are like my smaller products, so they're fine. Um, eyeliner is my Charlotte Tilbury Black and Champagne. I could take others, absolutely, but this kind of covers me for all occasions regardless. So this is perfect, one and done. Pat McGrath Labs Intensified Stick. Very self-explanatory, absolutely coming with me. This is a Travel Benefit Professional setting spray. I actually really like this setting spray because the travel size is perfect. You know I'm taking these three, right? You know, this is the only lip combo I'm honestly going to take. Uh, I'll probably take maybe one of the, actually, I'll probably take this from Mario. Actually, no. I'm going to take my Tarte Mar Maracuja Juicy Lip in Primrose and then these three. And that's all I'm going to take for lips. But these three will actually go in my handbag because they're going to just be the lip combo I wear all the time. We're kicking goals, you guys. Now I'm getting to the hard part. I think I'm going to take my NARS Light Reflecting Powder for my under eyes because it's really, really small and I have been liking the way that it's been looking on my under eyes. So small and compact and it's good. Happy days. For setting powder, I was kind of getting a little torn, but I think I'm just going to take this little itty bitty travel size of the Laura. Oh no, this is my brightening powder. Disregard. <laughs> I meant to grab this one. This is just a travel size of the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I haven't opened it yet, so I think I'll just use this one because I do really like this powder and it's quite small. So let's use that one. We need to talk about foundation. So I had picked out one, but now I picked out four. I love my KVD Good Apple and it's really slim and compact. So that's a high run up, but I've really been liking the way that the Oma Beauty and the Pure have been looking on my skin. However, in Melbourne, it's going to be cold. I look at, I looked at the temperature, whereas like up in Queensland, it's like hot and humid now. Whereas like in Melbourne, it's actually going to be cold. So, hmm. Okay. I can take away the Shiseido. The reason why I'm not just taking this one, one size, but two, I feel like this is almost empty. This one is not, but I actually think I'm going to take this one. Yeah, I'm going to take my KVD Good Apple. Oof. Is it? No. Yes, I'm going to take this. I'm going to take my Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick in Happy Soul because it's nice and slim and compact and it's a great product. So that's an easy one. And then Powder Bronzer is kind of where I was coming unstuck because I have these face palettes. I think Liquid Highlighter, I'm going to take my Say Super Glowy Gel because I love this and it is nice and small. So let's put that to the side for now. Um, I had picked out my Victoria Beckham Cream Blush in Playground because I always wear this with my Paradise Glow Pat McGrath. That's like one of my favorite combos. But I do have this Natasha Lip Cheek Trio, which has powder highlight, cream highlight, and blush in it. So like I wouldn't need to take this and it has it all in it. And I really like the shades, but... I also bought this one, but I don't know if I super love this bronzer. Mm. I'm not sure about this one. I actually think I regret purchasing this, if I'm honest, guys. Then I have the Vive one, which I do really, really love, but sometimes I find these blushes are just not quite enough, you know? <sighs> Again, hmm. And then I have the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, which is beautiful and I love. And it has like a neutral blush, a more poppy blush. It's got the highlighters. So, but I would need a bronzer. Mm. You know, I think I'm going to take this one with this one and call it a day. That's a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. Now we have eyeshadow. <laughs> eyeshadow. Let's see. I picked out these two Viseart ones because I could chop and change them to make like my own custom mini palette. Cause look how little it is. And I could like take this one and then the London one and like just mix and match the shades in here to like create 
my ideal kind of mini palette. Then I have these two little mini Natasha Denona palettes. So I just picked up, I had mini gold and I just picked up this little Zendo one in the Sephora sale that Australia just had. And I was like, I could take both of these and it would pretty much cover me if I took like, say a cream shadow as well. This is Lisa Eldridge Anne. That kind of cover me for all kinds of looks. which is what I'm leaning towards. Then I picked out my two favorite Tom Ford quads, which is these two, Metal Lust and Rose Topaz. I've nearly hit pan on Rose Topaz, you guys. And I just know I'm gonna, I, like I'll just wear these. It kind of covers me for every occasion, but they are kind of bulky. And also I take these traveling with me always, so I want to change it up. Hmm. Then I just have my standard other Viseart palettes that I always, always usually take traveling with me because they are such great palettes to take traveling and I was like I could just again swap out some shades and create like my ultimate palette and just take one of these which also would make sense and then I was like I kind of want to take the lethal cosmetics palette that I created because this also kind of has all the shades that I need and I could just take like my little statuesque from Pat McGrath Labs and then I just would have like everything, like pinks, purples, that kind of a thing. Ugh. And then I was like, I got the Glamorous palette and I have all of these singles now. And then I have like a heap of singles from, these are all Glamonate, one lethal, but like all Glamonatrix cosmetics singles. And I was like, I have this kind of smaller palette I could create like, you know, my own little palette from that. And like, you can take out these singles as well. Or should I just take this palette completely? Oh my God. I don't know what to do. I feel like what makes the most sense is either these two or like creating my own little busy art one. Bob, Yo. I need help. What do I take? What for? To Melbourne? Yeah. Oh, man, I don't know. I've got all this stuff, but I don't know which eyeshadow to take. Out of the ones you're opening up? Yeah. Why don't you take, like, one of these ones? Because I was going to, like, either mix and match these to Chris. These can come out to create my own, like, ideal one. Or I was going to take these three because they're, like, little. Yeah. Or I was going to take this one and take out the teal shade and put in this shade. Yeah. Or I was going to empty this and then all of these can come out and make my own palette. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, well, why don't you empty that one and make your own? The only reason is because it's a bit bulky. Or I was going to take the one that I made from Lethal. Uh, yeah, I mean, you probably we probably want more something like this, right? Where it's a bit more like wearable each day. It's not as many bright colors. Yeah. And you can just take those three. Yeah, and because, like, I thought to like, because this one's really wearable. Yeah, see so those three. You can also take those three and, like, one of these if you want to mix and match some other fancy colours in there. Because that wouldn't be a lot of room. Cool. Yeah, I guess. So I'd do that. <clears throat> I want to take them all. Okay, so let's listen to the husband and get rid of these. Oh, I can't want to take that. I just want to take anything too big and bulky for three days as well. Okay, so we'll definitely, we'll take these three for sure. So we'll take these three for sure. I mean, this is probably all I need, right, you guys? Let's see how, let's pack all of this away. And if I have room left, then maybe I'll make up another like little fancy art one. Let's do that. This is the bag that ideally I would like to take. My makeup brushes won't fit in here, but that's okay. It's just that they're really narrow slots. Um, I think it's going to be this that's like way too bulky. This can fit in this little pocket here, which is kind of cool. Okay, so this is like... Everything fits in here, which is amazing. 
Okay, well that's awesome. That doesn't weigh too much either. So maybe I feel like I'm going to take this little frizzy art one and then I'm just going to swap because as much as I love this green, I'm not going to wear it. And I'm going to put in this shade. And that is good. And then let me just look at... Oh, that has a purple. Yeah, perfect. Okay. And then I'm just going to take this little busy art one as well. Okay. Success. We did it. I feel like... I've nailed it. And honestly, I can fit some brushes in here, but I don't. I have a little Luna Beauty case to take brushes. I'm not going to take many brushes. Um, they need to be washed, but let's grab them out, shall we? Now, these need washing and I'm going to wash them today, but I think these are all the brushes that I'm going to take. So I've got primer application, uh, concealer, concealer, like under eye powder, face powder, bronzer, cream bronzer, cream blush powder blush and then eyeshadow brushes these are gonna get washed and put into i've just got a little bag and they will fit i swear because i can put some in here as well and then all my may makeup actually fit in this little bag which to me is little because i actually have heaps of room in here like i can put honestly all my eye brushes look at this oh my god i can nearly fit all my brushes in here let's see Oh my gosh, can I fit all my brushes in here? Because if that is the case. Okay, actually, I can just take this whole thing. So, I feel like I really deserve a pat on the back, you guys. I really do. So, I just need to add in a sponge and we are good. This is, this is everything I'm taking with me. Which is still probably a lot for a lot of you, but look, I love makeup. And if I could take all of my makeup with me, I absolutely would. All right, that is the end of the video. I'm actually super proud of myself. Pat on the back. Um, and... Yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. Hopefully you found the video interesting. I just love watching people play and sort through their makeup. So I thought this would be fun to film. And yeah, if you're watching till this point, you're an absolute legend. Thank you so, so much. I truly appreciate it. If you haven't already, pretty please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps my channel out so, so much. And uh, other than that, I hope that you have the most amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye.